Welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. So, in the last episode, we found the coordinates, uh, or at least Grixus found some coordinates for us, and we also did one of the Taro missions. Uh, now we're going to uh, continue on the main campaign and explore the coordinates that Grixus has provided for us. Uh, but first, I will sell these items that I meant to sell, that I forgot, and see if Ragna has anything of interest for us. It would appear that she does not. I want that one. Okay. Okay, so let's travel to the next location. My worst fears came true, and the astute cavalier has become the vessel of a chaos cult and is roaming the Tenebra subsector like a cursed derelict, spreading madness and corruption in its wake. I must put an end to this. I may be able to intercept the ship on Aphagia Minor, but it must be a surgical strike. I need the astute cavalier intact. Sure. Ah, that is a rather grotesque sight. Which isn't necessarily a big surprise. Did it with chaos and everything. All Imperial Vox channels are reporting a serious demonic incursion. This world is teetering on the brink of destruction. Which indicates that the Cavalier could be still here. Those accursed cultists spread the taint of chaos like a disease. All these channels keep repeating the name of their leader, the Blood Drinker. I may have arrived just in time. I'll find him and interrogate him about the Cavalier. Does that mean we will get corn Recoil, enemies? Recoil, unclean! Repent! Would you go pick someone your own size? Witness the glory of the Emperor. Repent. Now you are gone! Here we go. Kill the heretic! Not today. This map was a bit confusing with recoil lots of things on top of me and stuff. Difficult to see the roads. I 
missed the Inferno pistol. And it one drops as I say that, interestingly enough. Name. I seem to be getting dropped frames as well here. Who are you to that stand swing. against me? I shouldn't think that this place is that heavy on my computer. Definitely I'm getting lost frames, without a doubt. Unleashed. Nope, that's not going to be noticeable in the video, but... There's not much I can do about it, to be honest. Witness my power! I could try to adjust the details. See if that helps a bit. Nope, still getting lost frames. Could be all the particles around here, though. Perish, filth. Data slate. Open it, and I will feast on your soul. Lord Raxus, this letter is a safety measure if I don't return to the base. I must warn you, we have serious doubt about doubts about Brother Kadax. I always thought his obsession with Herman van Winter and this eight times damned ship was a mere nuisance. But there is something else. We spent years hunting for the astute Cavalier, and I followed the orders when he sold our most sacred artifact to van Winter, so we had to float blindly in the endless sea. I didn't complain when we abandoned the Glorious Damnation and moved to this junk heap, but now we are evading the dogs of the Corpse Emperor. Wreak havoc, spread chaos, open gates to the realms beyond. These were our orders, sanctified by the Despoiler himself. We are following the fickle dreams of a lunatic. Here is the key to Uther's secret. The Anathema Ultima cannot be born. The seal must be ours. Riddles upon riddles since he got that damned scar epistle from the Martyr. Our warband has nothing to do with that ship, and who cares about Uther's corpse? We have a war to win. The early withdrawal from Argon Prime was a shame, and our patrons are displeased. I feel it in my flesh. We have to discuss these matters with the others as soon as possible. New log entry. This is way more than the machinations of some mad cultists. It's the word bearers again, but this time they had knowledge of the Martyr and Uther's secret. And they were hunting for Herman van Winter. The Chaos Sorcerer I defeated also has ties to Rexus, the Chaos Sorcerer in charge of this unholy operation. Interesting.
these campaign missions certainly are larger than the others. Where are you going? flesh death is a journey Damn, that's that for this that boss captain I have new information regarding your father's fate please tell me it's good news your father did indeed acquire a Chaos Artifact from the Word Bearers. So, it's not good at all. I strongly suspect that those monsters tried to corrupt your father. Probably to get their hands on the logbook. It's not over yet, Captain. Oh. Still a long way to go. For the Emperor. Yes, you, you, you have made your point, you know, guys. I get the drift, you want to kill me. And you did fail. Who would have thought? Let it rain. Musical chaos sorcerers. Okay, so it seems that I should go back and take a look up there. It's after all. kind of particle thing that I can reduce here. I can try to switch that one off. Didn't do anything. <laughs> Kill the heretic! Might as well just turn it on again, then. Because I did see a visual difference. The lighting like that.
Dum de dum de dum. And that is also one of the ways we can do it. Okay, this map is confusing. Witness my power! There we go. What? You you survived? How? What? Okay, we'll go back and take that little area as well. Wish I had some kind of run speed. And if you're wondering about the lost frames, I notice them because OBS is telling me what my frames per second in the game is, and they're mostly around 50, whereas they should be around 60 or more. OBS wouldn't tell me if they're above 60 since I'm recording in 60 FPS, but this is unusually uh, slow. Yeah. Or or not. You can just do that instead. It f with fire. Die, heretic. alternative way to the end right okay so it is i slay in thy name most certainly didn't look like that from when we were standing over that the other side there For the Emperor! Oh, there's a boss down there. I like how he's being pushed by the uh, other guy. That is quite amusing. Okay. Off with you. Medical supply down there. That would be useful. Who are you to stand against me? 
Where did a turret come from? I am the sanctioned flame. I think we will go visit that medical supply. Well, thank you. There's a chest up here as well, it would seem. But we may just as well kill whatever is up here first. Suffer my pain! Like so. Sesame, thank you. And onwards we go. Of course, looks like there are two paths again. Death is a journey! Perish, Bill! Oop. This looks like the top of a cathedral of some sort. You are guilty. Kill the heretic. We all know that you are guilty. It's what they do best. The infamous blood drinker. Oh. The man, the myth, the target. I'll take him out, but I'll use non lethal methods. Uh huh. You are guilty! Witness my power. I have the cultist leader in custody. He's incapacitated. Take him to the ship and have the Magus biologist prepare the necessary serums. Understood, Inquisitor. Okay. No! There's a chest there. Ah. Uh. Silly me. Oh well. Can't wait to get back to an inferno pistol. Hello there. Heroic deed. Reach level 20. I guess we reached level 20. Interesting that the heroic deed comes before the level up. Apply 2,500 debuffs on enemies. So this eye implant is a definite one. I think I'll go play with the uh, crafting thing. So we have two... Here we 
go. I also have something to put in here. I think I want to get that one up. Try to get four. There we go. Did we get anything else of interest? The things we're getting though are very valuable now. Salvage. Deflector field. What is that? I will keep to my digital weapons, though, with a critical hit chance. Let's see here, can we craft an Inferno pistol? Yes, we can. is nice. Craft another one to see if we can get some, since we have both money and I ingredients. Uh. Definitely not. And that. Okay. How about an advanced one? have the blueprint for that though. Uh, do you have any advanced blueprints? Yes, an arc sword, which I don't need. Okay, um, this one gives critical hit chance. And it's definitely the best one. What is the value of these things? Oh, okay. We'll sell those and we'll deconstruct the purple one to get the purple. Well, we're starting to get enough of those, I think. Actually, I think I'll sell it instead. We need to talk to Metrodora. The interrogation was successful, Inquisitor. The subject embraced the biochemical gifts of the Omnisire wholeheartedly. You can find my report on your data slate. Give me an outline. The Chaos Cult that acquired the Cavalier was following the commands of a Chaos Sorcerer. I won't utter its name. It burns my tongue like bile. So they were spreading the taint on the orders of the Word Bearers? That Sorcerer recently ordered the Cavalier to return to their headquarters. I have the location for you. So we have a new mission. However, these campaign missions are getting very long. Um, uh, all right, let's just do it. <laughs> the confession of a captured cultist eventually led me to the hideout of the astute cavalier. The cultist and the word bearers masters, word bearer masters, will pay for their atrocities against the Imperium. My main objective is still the logbook of the Van Winter family. It is the only lead I have on what happened to Uther Tiberius. It says small. We'll see about that. I'm on the Cavalier. It doesn't look good, Captain. The cultists clearly didn't believe in regular maintenance protocols. <laughs> Those filthy scoundrels. I just hope that they will see the error of their ways soon. First, I will take care of the word bearer scum. Then, I will find the logbook. No. 
surprisingly enough, I don't think that Chaos Cultists care all that much about cleanliness. And I, gee, I wonder whatever could give off that idea. <clears throat> Seriously. I slay in thy name. There we go. For the Emperor. Hmm. So we're going after Kadax or Kadax or whatever, however his name is pronounced. Die, heretic. I wonder where they got all these bodies. And who these bodies are. Well now. These guys certainly do enough damage. Another little side room. My ears are bleeding. I must stop this Emperor Forsaken. The alarm has probably alerted the hostiles in the vicinity. I should think so. Okay, so now we're at this point where we have alternative routes again. <laughs> or... No, it is one of these alternative routes. Like that. What is this? Oh. Repent. Is a journey. Yes, yes. These intense levels. Traps everywhere. Why are there traps here? 
And all of a sudden, the thing went all the way over there? Maybe the levels wouldn't take as long as they do if I didn't want to complete them like the completely completion list. But hey. I do enjoy being a completionist, so... This room has a tech shrine, so I assume it has a boss. Indeed it does. So we'll take the tech shrine and we'll enable that. Boring day at all. died that's not good finally fresh air I say outside the room <laughs> okay um let's try this one more time after I have my cooldowns done. Thank you very much. There we go. Much better. And much needed chocolate refills. Probably should have found that one earlier, but um, oh well. Dying every once in a while probably is okay too. Suffer my pain. I think I'm going to let those guys complete their summoning ritual sometime to see what exactly they are trying to summon. Just for the amusement's sake. Really? Off with you! Indeed. of interest. Was 
Lord Raxus? No, he couldn't have been. Oh. Repent! Death is a journey. That it is. Yes. How many are there of you? You are guilty. This thin room in this room. Witness my power. Since it was so important to not let me get in here. A supply chest, that's it. All of those for a supply chest. Wow. That is disappointing. Sometimes I wonder at the challenges you get from the game. Ah. Now you are gone. Stop that. Good thing about them is that they can't get to me. I guess I'm going to go over and have a chat with him before we kill him. What a surprise! Did you come to witness our victory, Inquisitor? I came to serve you the Emperor's justice, just like I did with your foul brothers. Hot-headed creature! You cannot stop what is coming, even if you kill every one of us, which you won't! What is this thing? You go ahead and hide behind there. Um, I want to search the other rooms before I take up that book. There's a cogitator. The door is open. I'm going inside. I will wait with going inside there until I've searched his corpse. Then, okay. Scar Epistle or Epistle. This is an urgent message, thus I'm using your blood-forged flesh puppet. Mm -hmm. I am trapped on this eight-time accursed ship. Time is indifferent for me, but you must act swiftly. 
The Viserum revelation was right. Uther, twice born, came close to creating the Anathema Ultima. According to the ancient recording I found, he made a pact with a primogenitor, which would explain his success. A reminder never to trust the treacherous ones. The Anathema is protected by powerful hexes, far beyond my powers. Destruction of the ship won't help, since the walls of her cage defy the laws of real space and the ether alike. The key is the twice born's rosette. You must find it. Our strongest lead suggests that it is in the possession of the one winter rogue trader clan. They must have the answers to where Uther's body lies. Try to grow up their leader with treasures he can't refuse. Give him what he needs the most and he will lead us to the rosette. If your attempts fail, set the Imperials on him. They won't believe his innocence and you can find the answers among the ruins of his legacy. Seek out the Eutherians among the Inquisition, and you might find something under the dust of millennia. I will guard this secret with my warband. Everything else is irrelevant. The revelation is dubious. The Anathema may not be our destruction, but the risk is too great. Captain, I've gained a new insight into your father's case. These word-bearers were acting on orders from the sorcerer I encountered on the Martyr. They were trying to find Uther's rosette, and lured your father into a trap to reach their goal. In the light of these details, is there any chance that the name of my family could be cleared? Your father acted irresponsibly, but he was not a willing servant of Chaos. We'll see. First, I need that notebook. Go to my father's private quarters and find his personal cogitator. It will open the chamber where he kept his most treasured possessions. I will open the chests first. And then we will. I have found the log, but I can't open it. Take the log back to the ship, Inquisitor. It can only be opened by my ancestral signet ring, which is coded to my DNA. There we go. Anything of interest? Wouldn't appear that we got anything specifically good out of this mission. Which is okay. We can't always get good things. Um... The force staff is better, but uh, there is no chance I'm swapping out the uh, one we already have with that one. What is this? Oh. We can equip that one. Well now. An inoculator with four slots. I haven't seen that before. I guess we will swap to that one. And this is good enough. an extra skill slot for the psychic powers instead of your belt equipments. I suppose that is good, but I really like that uh, extra uh, critical hit damage thing. Let us uh, deconstruct some items. That, and then we'll talk to her, and after that we'll end the episode. I have opened the logbook, Inquisitor. It was... extraordinary. 
I held in my hands the entire secret history of my house. I trust it will make fascinating reading. But for now, I only need the details about Uther Tiberius. I can tell you where Gregor Van Winters took the survivors of the Martyr, but that happened a very, very long time ago. It's the only lead I have. Take us to those coordinates, Captain. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Meanwhile, you have a message from the Conclave. This is a message from Inquisitor Helena Gosler. I must tell you, I was in charge of purging the Van Winter family. I have learned that you have reopened the investigation, and in all honesty, I find your decision perplexing. All my actions follow the decrees of the Lex Imperialis and spiritual guidance gained through rigorous penitential practices. Now it falls upon you to make a new decision regarding the future of this house. Well, I... <laughs> I don't mind. I did say I did prefer the Puritan skill tree, and I've already made one radical decision. too soft-hearted in fact it's for my own good I think captain I have made my decision regarding the fate of your house your father participated in forbidden practices but his intentions were not heretical the name of your house will be cleared I'm still counting on you and your ship in the future though thank you inquisitor I am very grateful Rest assured, I will serve your cause with absolute dedication. Yes, I'm quite certain she will after that. Being redeemed from the Inquisition is no mean feat. So I will be deemed a uh, radical Inquisitor. <clears throat> well. I guess these are good as well. Min-maxing isn't always the most important thing to do. Okay, um, I'll end the episode here. So uh, next time it seems that we will be going on a look for Luther's tomb. So thank you all for joining me and I hope that you enjoyed the episode. And uh, take care of yourselves and each other's and see you all next time.